Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over how to write Riemann sums as definite integrals. So this is part of a question that was released for the um, 2020 AP Calc um, exam that we administered online. So let's go ahead and take a look at this question. And don't forget, uh, we have three practice problems at the end of this presentation that we'd we'll like you to try out in order to demonstrate mastery of what we covered in this example. All right, so the question reads, rewrite uh, the limit as n approaches infinity of the discrete sum from k equals 1 to n of uh, the quantity h of negative 1 plus 5k over n times 5 over n as a definite integral in terms of h of x with a lower bound of x equals negative 1. All right, so to get us started, let's take a look at the formula uh, that's going to guide our problem solving process, okay? So if you're given... Um, a Riemann sum in this form limit as n approaches infinity sum from k equals 1 to n of some function is going to be a function of a plus b minus a over n times k and then this entire thing will be multiplied by um, b minus a over n, okay? So if you have um, a Riemann sum presented in this format, as you can see here, if you want to rewrite it as a definite integral, it's simply going to be the integral from a to b of f of x dx, all right? So all you basically have to figure out is um, what is a and what is b, and then you should be good to go. Okay. Another way that this formula is presented, it's a little bit much more uh, confusing. This is easier to use. It can also be presented in this format. Um, the limit, you see this in some textbooks as n approaches infinity of the discrete sum from k equals 1 to n of um, f of a plus delta x over n times k. Um, and then this times delta x over n. All right, so delta x is b minus a. Delta x just simply means change in x, all right? But I prefer the first formula because it helps you clearly identify what b and a are in order to be able to set up your integral. All right, so these two are basically the formulas for rewriting Riemann sums as definite integrals, okay? All right. Um, so let's label this version one, version one, and version two. We're going to be using version one for this problem. All right, so let's go ahead and rewrite the problem. So this problem we have um, the limit as n approaches infinity of the discrete sum from k equals one to n of um, h of negative one plus negative 1 plus 5k over n, and then that times 5 over n. All right, so just by the way it's written, you should be able to identify what a and b minus a are. So let's take a look at this. Let me write that negative 1 piece again. Take a look at this formula right here and take a look at v1 or even v2. Do you identify what a is and what b minus a is? So the term that's been multiplied by k, um, the numerator is basically b minus a. So this 5 right here is b minus a. And do you see another b minus a um, in this formula? There's a b minus a here, and whatever you're dividing n by on the right, that is also b minus a. So our b minus a is 5, okay? Now what is our a? Whatever number you add into the term that's been multiplied by k, that is your a term. Alrighty, so in this particular problem, this guy right here is a. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by identifying, right now, what a is, and then use it to find out what b is. So a is negative 1. And notice in the problem, we're also told that the lower limit is negative 1. And if you look at your integral, the lower limit of integration 
is your a value so it also tells us that that's what a is all right now to find b we're going to set up an equation we know b minus a is equal to this coefficient right here um, so b minus a is equal to 5 so if we substitute the value of a which is negative 1 here we can solve for our b value okay so you multiply these two you have b plus 1 is equal to 5 and then you go ahead and subtract one from both sides and then you have b is equal to four. Okay, so this um, Riemann sum can be written as a definite integral of a to b, a is what? What is a? a is negative one all the way to four of h of x dx. We're using h because um, that's the function that we have right here. All right, so now let's go ahead and try out some examples. We're going to give you three examples to try out at this time. All right, so we'd like you to try, these, try out these problems. Um, we, the instructions are for you to rewrite the definite integrals, rewrite as definite integrals, these three limit of Riemann sums that we have here. So go ahead and pause this video presentation. We write these as definite integrals. Click on the playback button and then we're going to show you what the correct answers are. Alrighty, welcome back. Now let's take a look at what the answers are. For question number one, this limit of Riemann sum can be written as the integral, as you can see, a is three from three to um, b is nine. All right, because when you subtract this two, nine, your delta x is six, so nine minus three is six, okay? And then the function is cosine, so of cosine x dx. So that's the answer for question one. All right, question two. Um, integral from a is five over two. We have a fractional lower limit here. Um, the upper limit uh, is going to be 13 over two. All right. If you subtract these two, you get eight over two, which reduces to four, and that's what delta x is. And then our function is a radical function root x dx. For question three, um, we have the integral from the lower limit, a. a is negative pi all the way to b, b is three. If you look at delta x, three minus minus pi is three plus pi, and that's equivalent to what we have here. And then our function is tan x dx, okay? So this is basically how you rewrite um, Riemann sums as definite integrals. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your preparation for the upcoming AP Calc exam, if you give us a thumbs up, your positive feedback is very valuable to us. For tons of support resources to help you pass the exam, including our formula sheet and epic notes, take a look at mathgodserve.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel um, for updates to other math tutorials. If you have any questions or special requests, just put them in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to respond. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.